Hi, my name is Cass. Uh, the first time I went skiing, it was like an immediate click for me. Um, it immediately became sort of an addiction. <laughs> and I'm also just always looking to challenge myself in some way, and skiing is a really good way to do that because you can sort of take it to whatever level you want. If you just want to hang out on groomers all the time, you can do that. There's plenty of space to do that. If you want to push your limits, there's also plenty of opportunity for that as well. I guess sort of advice for people that I wish that I had known when I started skiing is to not be afraid to go with people who are way better than you. Going with people who are better than you or who know more than you do, it's it allows you to kind of see the way that they move and they can sort of be a view pointers as well. Um, and it is, again, just kind of a challenge to try to keep up with people. And that's kind of the best way to learn, I think, is to just throw yourself straight into it. My name is Reiser. Um, I got into skiing when I was a snowboarder living in Colorado and all my ski tech buddies told me to come away from the dark side and just start skiing. So I started skiing and I never, I never looked back to skiing. I love skiing. If you want to get into skiing, just try to have fun with it is what I would say. You can be really, really bad at skiing but still have a good time. There's something like meditative about just being on the mountain at all. And you don't have to be going fast and doing flares to be cool, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's a good experience just being on the mountain and looking at the view that it gives you and just enjoying it for what it is. Even if it's kind of a, a bad day, the snow is really bad, or I'm just having an off day, any day on the mountain is a good day. <laughs>